I came across a very interesting and useful library called Instagraph. So basically given a text prompt, it create these knowledge graphs. So under the hood, uh, it is using OpenAI to generate the text given a text prompt and then using Neo4j to create these knowledge graphs. Okay. So to use it, all we need is uh, OpenAI API, open uh, API key. Uh, the installation is quite simple and straightforward. Uh, unfortunately, you don't have the pip uh, installation yet, but uh, we can install from the source code. So just download the repo, uh, CD to the repo and install the requirements. And then uh, create this new env file uh, containing your OpenAI key. Okay. Uh, we don't need to worry about this uh, Neo4j. And in order to run the app, simply type python uh, main.py. And then you can open the application uh, in your browser uh, using this uh, port. Okay. Localhost 8080. So this is how it looks like. I have already installed. And uh, yeah, here you can provide any text prompt. It will generate uh, graphs like these. So it's a very simple prompt. We are saying Elon Musk. And here it came up with uh, a bunch of entities. Uh, all these entities are company names. And then the relationships. Uh, we have only two types of relationships. Either it is founded, a founder or co-founder, right? So for example, Elon Musk uh, is the founder of Neuralink, uh, SpaceX, the co-founder of PayPal, SolarCity, uh, etc. Uh, one of the examples provided uh, by the authors, it has uh, this additional relationship, uh, which is this acquisition as well. So we have seen uh, these two relationships, founder and co-founder. And then oh, he, uh, we have another relationship uh, called concept. So Elon Musk uh, introduced the concept of, let's say, the Hyperloop. And then Tesla has acquired uh, Solar City, right? So basically, uh, it is using OpenAI uh, to extract uh, some text and finding the entity signed relationships. Uh, what you see in these boxes, those are the entities or nodes. And then uh, it has the relationship. So in this case, uh, founder, co-founder, uh, the concept, acquisition, etc. Now we can do more complex things as well. So for example, here uh, we are asking how computers work. Now, if you look at uh, the nodes, uh, it has found out all the right nodes. So at the center, we have this central processing unit. It has the software, storage device, memory, output devices, input devices, etc. And if you look at uh, the relationships as well, uh, I mean, is it doing the data transfer, uh, the data processing, uh, the instruction uh, executions, uh, etc. Right. So we can we can generate complex graphs as well uh, using simple text prompts like this. So here is another example uh, how capital flows through USA. So I don't know it. I am just running uh, the examples. Uh, so. Uh, not this one maybe yeah this one is probably interesting but let's look at uh, the output from the examples provided yeah so here we are asking uh, the venture capital uh, system how it works so here we have the startups uh, and startups receive the seed funding and they also receive the series a series b funding here we don't have the series b funding but then we have the venture capital uh, so here we have the investors uh, these include angel investors and investors invest in these venture cap capitals and the fund they fund the startups etc right so it is uh, it is working reasonably well and as you know llms uh, there is always uh, some uncertainty to it so the graphs generated may not be 100% accurately correct uh, but it's uh, uh, it's interesting right it's very useful for learning and visualizing how things works uh, that's all for this video. Thank you very much.